So we have an article here from Hardware Times where it talks about how the Nvidia board partners didn't get any RTX 30 GPUs in January. So what's going on here is Nvidia not actually sending the board partners any GPUs or are the board partners getting GPUs but not actually sending them to retailers. So the article is from Aridge from Hardware Times and it says Nvidia's board partners didn't get any RTX 30 series chips in January and the article goes on to say Nvidia's RTX 30 series supply has continued to be pretty dismal even four to five months after launch. The situation in January was especially bad. According to certain board partners I spoke to, most didn't even get any higher end RTX 30 series parts in January. Please keep in mind that I'm talking about the Asia Pacific region here. The situation in Europe and the US may be different. Likewise, retailers had just one or two units of the RTX 3080 from back in December, which they are presently selling for twice the MSRP. Now, just before we continue on with the article, I do want to say that I feel like there's just no stock anywhere in the world, no matter uh, whether you're from the US or Europe or Australia or in Asia, doesn't seem like there are any RTX 30 series cars going around and we have to ask the question what is going on because um, do we really think that Nvidia is actually not making any GPUs and I would say that the answer is highly unlikely um, I think uh, there's plenty of GPUs that they're making and they've all gone somewhere else now let's continue on with the article and it says here the same was the case with the Founders Edition cards. All the people I checked with said that there were no FE cards were received last month. However, retailers are expecting a small shipment of the Founders Edition models by mid-February with board partner variants coming by late February on account of the Chinese New Year. As far as the supply is concerned, there will be a very limited stock for the higher end GeForce RTX 3080 and 3090, but supply for the budget oriented cards such as the RTX 3070 and the 3060 Ti is expected to improve by a bit. As already reported multiple times, the RTX 30 series supply issues are going to persist into quarter two. The situation will hopefully start to normal, normalize, improve from April to May. Thanks to Harukaze and iLeague VN for confirming. Now I haven't reported from Hardware Times before, so I don't know how reliable this is. However, uh, there are a few prominent leakers such as Harukaze and iLeague VN that have put their name to this article. And I think that uh, that would mean that this is fairly reliable information if they've been hearing the same things from AIB partners. And if we look at the SCAN website, because SCAN regularly have status updates for their RTX 30 series, for the RTX 3080 in January, they simply didn't get any 3080 GPUs. And you can see here for the week of the 11th of January, it had 10 the 18th it had 45, for 25th it had 108, and the 1st of February they have 26. So barely any RTX 3080 stock available. And if you go back to one month prior, back in December and November, they had at least hundreds of 3080s and we were hoping for more, but uh, 100 now seems like a, a lot of GPUs. As you can see here, the 23rd of November, it has 181, 30th of November, 387, 7th of December, 190, and 14th of December, 468. So it seems like back in December, that was actually a lot of GPUs, even though everybody was still complaining that wasn't nearly enough. Now, I think it could get to a point where there's simply no GPUs available for the retail buyer and effectively the gamer. So we could have a situation where you're going to have to know someone in order to be able to get a GPU. Now, that could be someone that's in working in NVIDIA or an AIB partner or even somebody like a distributor. Somebody along the supply chain will end up selling these to the highest bidder. So you're going to have to get in somewhere along the supply chain because there's just not going to be any left by the time it gets to retail. Now going back to the Hardware Times article, the Hardware Times article states that the AIB partners don't have any GPUs in January. And I find that really hard to believe that Nvidia would suddenly stop making GPUs in January. Why would they uh, suddenly stop making GPUs when there's such a huge demand from gamers? So somebody else must be taking these GPUs. 
And who is it? Uh, is it Nvidia that's been giving these to the miners, or is it the AIB partners? So either way, somebody is lying here. Either Nvidia is the one giving them to the miners, and. Uh, and the AIB partners are correct and they're saying that they haven't received any or the AIB partners have been getting them but they're actually just giving it to the miners and saying that they haven't been receiving any GPUs for retail. So we'll know very soon what's happening with these GPUs because Nvidia has an earnings call where they're going to be asked a lot of questions and that's going to be on February the 11th 2021 and Get, I'm sure they're going to be asked the question, what's happening with these GPUs and uh, why isn't there enough for gamers? And even if they produce a white lie type of response, we'll be able to tell from their financial report. If they have record profits and record revenues, then you can be sure there isn't actually a problem with their manufacturing process and these GPUs are actually going somewhere else. Now, just to end this video, I thought I would take a look at Reddit and look at their GPU mining subreddit thread just to see whether they have any special access to GPUs and it seems as though that they don't and they're still fighting for the same GPUs as us gamers. So uh, most of these people are actually still looking on eBay and just trying to get uh, GPUs, but of course uh, they don't actually mind uh, paying double the price because they are thinking about it in a financial sense and when they're gonna get a return on their investments. So we have a Reddit thread here that says, looking for bulk 3080 seller, and he says that I'm looking for a seller in possession of 40 RTX 3080s for a bulk sale negotiation. It's pretty hard to find sellers like this online right now, so does anyone have some connections? And that's what you really have to do. You have to have connections uh, somewhere in the supply chain to be able to get a 3080 at the moment. And obviously he gets a lot of replies that say that, um, that nobody is able to get one and uh, you're going to be uh, looking just like the same as everybody else. Uh, there is one interesting reply here that says business account can get you 10, try with many dealers. And there's another response here from Flexpool. He says, check out Discord in a few days as we're partnering with a bulk seller. So there are bulk sellers that are getting 3080s, but uh, you're going to have to work your way through things like reddit and uh, try to get to know people to try and get a 3080. Honestly I think uh, the only way to really get these 3080s is really uh, they're just leaving crumbs right now for um, the regular folks even hobby miners on reddit and the, all of these GPUs I think are probably going to serious miners, uh, serious businessmen, people with millions of dollars who have connections to the distributors, um, people who own supply chains and supply networks. Uh, so they're the people that are getting the GPUs right now and us regular folk just uh, won't see any of these. And a lot of those people higher up uh, who have uh, access and funds to get all of these GPUs, well, uh, they're not gonna be the ones posting online, posting pictures of their RTX 3080 racks and so forth. So uh, these 3080s, we'll probably never see them. We might see it if the Ethereum price crashes, but other than that, uh, they're probably not gonna be seen for a while. So that's gonna be it for this one. If you like this video, make sure to click the like button and also to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this, and I'll see you in the next one.